Hello, what is up YouTube? This is my review of Kogan's Agora Smart TV dongle for 2014. So I've had this dongle for about a week now. So I've tested it out for basic smart TV use. So my setup here is a 47 inch full HD LED TV. It's from Dixmith, cost me um, $500. And uh, the HDMI dongle plugs straight into the HDMI port and the micro USB charging cable plugs into the TV's USB port so TV actually powers the dongle itself so with the press of a button when I turn on the TV it turns on the dongle and the whole thing starts up and when I have to turn it off push the button and the whole thing shuts down a quick recap on the specs here so this one has a quad core CPU that's Cortex A9 1.6 gigahertz and Mali 400 GPU backed up by 1 gigs of RAM and 8 gigs of internal storage so it has two USB ports and you could plug in USB thumb drives for up to 32 gigs and there is support for micro SD card and it also supports externally powered hard disk for up to 2 terabytes so a lot of storage options there so right now I haven't plugged in um, any USB drives or anything so uh, I have the wireless adapter for my air mouse plugged into one of the ports and I've also plugged in Kogan's Android wireless keyboard so they work side by side and this is a custom launcher this is the Nova launcher so um, I'll quickly show you the basic launcher it came with so, go back home so as you can see this is very snappy very fluid and this is Android operating system 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with uh, Kogan's Agora custom skin on top of it so I'll quickly go to settings and you can see all the settings menu is same as how it is on an Android tablet or a phone and this, this interface is uh, actually the whole interface is slightly different to Kogan's smart TV interface I have reviewed one of those before uh, this pretty much looks like an Android Agora sm smartphone and tablet interface for Kogan so this this thing just this dongle just makes your TV into a giant Kogan Agora smart tablet and you could see there are little icons here for Bluetooth and there was a camera app there's uh, so it, when you select those nothing happens it, they are just there because it's not skinned down for a smart TV use so this is the complete operating system as itself so, so good apps so now go back home to for the standard launcher just for this once so that's how it looks when you plug it into the TV for the first time you have apps, browser all these menus and there's settings menu it's the custom settings but as soon as you click one of those it goes into the standard settings menu for Android so I'll switch to Nova launcher because I like it, it's good. Uh, you could pretty much install any launcher you want and customize the way you want the TV to be. So that's one good thing about Android. Um, and now let's get to video playback. So you have the standard YouTube app that's that's there. So let me play a 4K video for you. It, this may not be playing the 4K video. This would only be playing an HD video because this is a tablet app Merry Christmas Dave I'm really excited about this so it's easy to connect to the Wi-Fi network at your home network it's just a matter of putting in the you know the password and uh, it just connects directly just like how you connect your phone or your tablet
So as you can see there is no lag, no stutter, it's smooth, fluid. This H is HD, it has support for up to 1080p uh, resolution. And this is great. I haven't had any issues so far with any video playback. It's just performs really well. So I'll go back home and I'll show you video playback on the browser. I've seen a lot of smart TVs where uh, browsing the web is a pain because it's r really hard to operate uh, the the remote control that's been provided and none of the keyboards work normally work with the custom you know the software that's on most of the smart TVs Samsung or Sony or anything but this one's Android Android wireless keyboard works perfectly it's easy to type easy to you know use the trackpad on the wireless keyboard and the video that's playing through the browser is just as beautiful as uh, you know, the other one there is no lag, no stutter, it's, it's fluid it's beautiful so if someone's looking forward to buying this product this is on sale for $89 this is this is a great great product that can make your TV into a smart TV and it's really cheap and it runs full Android operating system you have complete access to the play store you could download and install whatever apps you want it's nice and easy if you're used to android you know uh... any device that runs android so i, I even installed a game the stumble run but for some reason it wouldn't let me play the game so it starts up well animations are great So I'll take the cursor there, try to click, so nothing happens. So I don't think it's probably gonna let you play any games. So but that's fine, it's just for media consumption. So watch movies, browse the web, so uh, that's that works perfectly and you have access to the file system. So if you have plugged in any any media you can directly access everything you need. So you can see it's very snappy, apps open very fast. So this is Vivo. Very, very snappy. I'm totally happy with the purchase. I totally recommend this product. And I even did run a benchmark test. I don't I know I don't have to do it on a TV because it's an Android, you know, powered smart TV. I just did it anyway. So to give you guys a rough idea, so it has scored 18,148. So if you go into the details, it could tell you, it tells you uh, the CPU is clocked at 1608 megahertz by 4, so 1.6 GHz quad core. This is your RAM speed, GPU Mali 400. So the anti to benchmark says the CPU is good, supports large apps and multitasking. RAM is excellent, 2D graphics excellent, 3D graphics general, and supports most games. And when you get to the ranking, so you can see at 18,000 mark, it is sitting right next to Google Nexus 10 and. Samsung Galaxy S3 I think it performs slightly better than HTC One X and Google Nexus 4 so that's that's a lot of you know that's a lot of bang for the buck there's a lot of value for the money you're getting uh, you know very fast a smart TV very snappy smart TV for the money so it's just it's, and it performs just great what do you task you throw at it so uh, that's been the review guys, uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, please let me know if you need to, you know, know anything else, uh, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, 
thanks again and see you guys later peace